Hey everyone, uh, new cold day, new video. Uh, in the last video you saw me uh, take a fuel tank out, make a huge mess, that was pretty terrible, but uh, I have yet to pull the fuel tank and look inside. Uh, just haven't felt like doing it, plus it's so far down the road that I'm not too concerned about it. Um, but I did say that we were gonna work on this quarter panel. Hold on, there's a plane flying over. Okay. So I did say we were going to work on this quarter panel, so uh, we'll take the wheel off, but uh, you can kind of see this is going to be harder than I thought because there's not much access from the, the inside, which makes it a little tricky. Um, I do have like a stud welder, so you can weld studs onto the bent pieces and kind of work it out, but I'm not very good with it. Um, i tried to use it in the past, but maybe... Maybe I'll get a little better with it on this car, who knows. But I think that might be the way that we have we go about fixing it. But first things first, let's uh, take this wheel off and then kind of just assess where we're going to cut and where we're going to clean everything up. Okay, I got the right one. So, I need to get this dirt all out of here, but it looks like the corner of this is actually bent up in there, which I never really paid attention to. But uh, I guess we'll just start working it out. My idea is to cut pretty much from here all the way down and then cut the, like this outer fender on the same plane so I can just lay a piece of sheet metal in there and then weld it really nice. And so, uh, but we gotta kinda figure out what we're gonna do about this section where the body, the inner fender weld doesn't go all the way to the outside. We'll probably just cut on an angle and then that way we can close it up to this, but we gotta straighten all of this. So, we're pretty much doing all of this to get the whole car sealed off so that you can put an over fender on it and then like it looks like there's no issues at all but there's also not giant holes in the like with water getting in and mud but this is super dirty but we'll kind of start working on it and then clean it up as we go because we got to kind of make a good line of where we're going to cut it but yeah this is pretty bad and you can kind of tell like it's hit hard enough that the the light is actually tilted down where like this plane and this plane are the same over here this plane and this plane aren't the same because this is bent down so but still not that bad not rusty Okay, we kind of got this straightened out a little bit. It looks good on the inside. Not so good out here. Uh, it's, it's tricky too to decide what to do because with this gas door here, we gotta be like on this side of it, but I don't know, it's kind of weird to do all that. So let's back this up so you can see better. But let's, uh, I don't know, I think we just uh, pick a spot and start cutting. I cut right here. It's easy when you look at this side because you're like, oh, okay, I'll just cut here. And we'll weld a nice piece of sheet metal for that. Oh man, it's so hard to decide how to do this without having to spend a ton of time. But sometimes the best thing to do is just get started, start cutting stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. And maybe we'll look back and be like, ooh, shouldn't have cut there. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is drill a little hole right here so we can start with our air saw. I'm gonna use an air saw because I don't wanna make a bunch of noise right now. It's getting late, so. Uh, air saw makes a lot of noise too though, so I don't know. We'll see what works out, but let's just drill a little hole here and start. I'm just gonna cut the little out. Small bit, then a big bit. Okay, 
Okay, so I ended up cutting my air saw blade. Can you see that? Narrower so that it will fit in this hole. But uh, also, my air compressor is pretty loud, and so you're probably not going to hear much while I'm cutting this, but I'll make it quick. Okay, so what I started doing was just nipping away at the wheel well because I really need to get this out of the way to, to really decide on what I'm doing. And so I just, I'm gonna continue to cut along this, but I don't wanna throw a lot of sparks in the car and I don't want sparks going up and hitting the glass because it'll pit the glass really bad. So I'm kind of using an air saw in there, but that's taking forever because my compressor's tiny. So, you know, baby steps. I have a lift, but a tiny compressor. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way and then and kind of nip away at, at it. But I, I feel like I have a good plan now, so just gonna keep doing it. So we've got this trimmed out. It's, kind of, it's pretty rough looking right now, but uh, just kind of bear with me, it'll get better. Uh, there is like a structural piece right here that is spot welded into this. And if it wasn't in such bad shape, I would be able to see the spot welds and get to them. And But that's pretty difficult to do. And so I'm kind of hoping I can maybe snake my air saw up in there and cut it or kind of just wiggle it and get the spot welds to break. But uh, and then we'll address that after we get this piece out. But you can kind of see what I'm doing. We're just going to build a new wheel well. It'll be nice and straight. It'll be big enough for the car to be as low as we want. We never have to think about it again. Okay, so if you look in here, the last one that's given us a problem is right there. That's this outside piece is spot welded to that. And so once that's gone, no more problems. Then we can get, make some more progress.
Okay, that was actually pretty terrible. But now we know for the next side that if we spend some time and try to get these, I think there'll be six spot welds, then um, it'll actually go a lot smoother because what ha happened is I cut it and then they're all mangled and bent. And then so it makes it difficult to like try and drill them and stuff. But now we know for next time, what we can do is just flatten these out and actually drill holes in the piece of sheet metal that we replace it with. And then we'll just weld it back to the same structure. But this is going to be a lot cleaner. So what I'll do is flatten this flange, except for where the body line is. And then I will just clean it up, radius it nice, uh, trim this back. It's kind of a bummer. Uh, man, I might even like, I just need to build a little patch for this just so that it doesn't spread or, or look terrible. But even though you won't see any of this with the body kit on, it's always going to bug me a little bit. So, um, but yeah, oh look, a body plug we found last time. Tight. Okay, cool. I'll just uh, trim away at this, clean it up, get, get rid of some of the paint and uh, get rid of the super sharp edges and then we'll we'll kind of focus on this and the dent here we go okay so that's out of the way there's so much junk in here i wish i knew what it all was oh good thing this rust hole is here i can get my fingers through it Oh, butt connectors and screws. <laughs> That's what's in there. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So what I'll do is this like inner wheel well flange that is here is I'm gonna clean it real good, and then there will be a sheet of metal that will literally. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. I'll get you stitches, but I'll just lay. Build, make a template of a sh nice sheet of steel and then it'll taper down to here and then this will get pinch welded together. This is pretty bad, um, but I'm going to just, I mean, maybe we just cut it off and straighten it and plate it, like not plate it, but uh, close it off with sheet metal about halfway down. But, um, but it, we're, we're gonna get to that when we deal with this. But I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing here. And so that way this will be a nice clean radius. I can fix these dents. This will be sealed. I'll uh, seam seal it where I can on the inside. But nice, nice open wheel well with no like big giant holes in there. So this is like, it takes a little bit of time to do it this way. And so a lot of people don't. There's nothing wrong with just cutting them like they do and then pinching them together. But just make sure you do it in a way that there's not big openings. You can literally just take pliers and pinch them together, but people just tend to, I've seen people like rivet them, which is crazy. But anyway, so cool. Hammer and dolly, this helps a lot to just like, where this is all wonky and, and bent, we can just run this over it and kind of flatten it out a little. Um, can't do it here because I can't get access because this is in the way and this is cut too narrow. But uh, maybe we can do the same thing on from the inside, but we'll have to take a look at it. So I'm just going to flatten this out so it looks nice and then just give the outside a nice metal metal uh, finish. Get rid of some of the rust that's on here. This one doesn't have a backside, so you can actually go from the inside to out. So that's kind of what we're going to do here.
So you can kind of see, like when I push it out, there's actually a crease right here. And that crease is actually preventing the metal from staying out when I push it out. Also with this one too. But like I said, we're not super worried about it. But look how perfectly awful we placed that rust hole is. <laughs> I'll have to close it up somehow. Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, just get rid of the dirt. Uh, well, actually, what I wanted to do is clean that up so that I was and make a template. But I think I'll just work on this dent a little bit, and then we'll make a template and cut sheet metal next time. Um, I am running out of time. I have to go to dinner soon. But uh, uh, let's just kind of see if we can mess with this dent from the outside. Whoops. There it is. Of course. Battery's dead. time but as you can see I was beginning to all the low spots for whatever this must have happened when this happened so part of me thinks if I just pulled on this hard enough it would start to straighten this because if, if I just pull this out this metal in the middle that's crunched from this being shorter has to have somewhere to go and so what I'm gonna do is just continue cleaning up the low spots and then just pulling on them and if I've got to get like a slide hammer and weld something to it, pull it out. But like most people know, these Corollas like, I mean, I haven't really tried that hard to find a quarter, but I'd be surprised if I found like a not smashed quarter. Um, but uh, I, may, I may do the rest of this on this video, or I may just cut it into the next one if it goes too long. But I'm just gonna probably tomorrow on a new day, continue uh, cleaning all this up and just pulling this out and then this inner wheel well so I can get some templates made. But I don't know, I feel like that's some decent progress for tonight. Um, but yeah, just this quarter is the only real bad part of the car. It's, other than this, like the car is pretty straight minus some just silly dents. Um, but I'm not building like a show car. I just want a straight car that I can drift periodically and drive on the street and then uh, just an iconic Corolla with the beams. So that's kind of the plan here, but uh, just a little bit at a time. Um, I probably do have some stuff coming up on the RX-7 because uh, we built it, We, uh, me and, I mean, I had some friends help, of course, but we, uh, we built it pretty quick. There's a lot of things that I like just did quickly or made decisions without giving it a lot of thought. And so in the next month or two, I'm gonna start going back and correcting some of that stuff. One of which is like how high the seats are. So like when I'm sitting in the car, the tube is directly next to my head. Um, it's like not good for driving. It's not safe. Like even if I added some pad, it would be like I would be like kicked over to the side. And so, um, so we're just gonna mess with that. And then uh, I'm gonna build an exhaust for it and some other things, get the hood on, cause it's never had a hood. Um, but yeah, so lots of stuff coming, but uh, yeah, this will probably be one video because it's kind of a long time. So on the next video, uh, you'll see me begin to straighten this quarter and uh, and tidy it up uh, and weld up some of the holes all over the car from body kits over the years. So thanks again, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.